Fly like Goddy, how's it going? So, as you know, I went to RoboNerd a short while back and I absolutely loved it. For the first time going, it was brilliant. Definitely want to go again. And I did compete in the, the ant weights as well, but I saw the featherweights. <laughs> And after seeing that, I thought, you know what, maybe take a, a step up from the Beatles and go for a featherweight. And, which is why this is in front of me. This here is the Drive Setup Electronics. Yeah, pretty much. This is, <laughs> this is the electronic kit which I bought from Bristol Bot Builders. And the reason why I have this here instead of coming up with a design first was because I wanted to make sure that this was working. And what I'm going to do is actually go through each piece and show you how everything connects, how I soldered everything together, and hopefully to give you a bit of a better understanding of the diagram if you're not 100% sure how it all fits together. So let's dive in and have a look. Okay, so starting with power, we have a 2.2 3 cell 11.1 volt LiPo battery and this powers a beetle weight and a featherweight pretty nicely although the motors that I have for the featherweight runs off of 18 volts this one is perfect just to sort of start off with so as you'll see here we have this strange looking wire in here but I'll go through it and I'll show you what we've got so starting off these two plugs would fit in like so. So now the power will be coming through this whole circuit. Now the first piece that we have here has the black wire which goes straight from this plug all the way down to this Dean plug here. That one there. So straight black wire down to there. The red wire goes all the way to here, to this end, and then this is where, whoops, this is where your safety link comes in. So it goes from the positive wire that you would connect into here, and that will connect that red wire all the way through the loop to this wire here, and then to this side of the Dean plug. Now here we have an LED which is on this side of the wire. So you see there's two wires on this side. Now they are covered in tape but that's just to make sure that they hold together. So this one goes on this end because if it was stuck on this end the power would be on and this would still be on. It would be constantly on regardless. Which is why if we have the safety link and we do this. There you go. It lights up. So. Moving on from there, you also see that the black wire of the LED goes into here where the main black wire was. So already we have two wires here. Now the third one and the second red wire here is from the BAC, the Battery Eliminator Circuit. And this little circuit's job is to make sure that there is a small amount of power going from the battery to the receiver. 11 volts coming through here, through the entire circuit, and it goes straight to the receiver, there's a chance you can blow the receiver. We don't want that. This will convert it down to 5 volts, a safe, a safe voltage. The receiver I have, which is an FSIA6B, it's a FlySky receiver, it can take 4 to 8.4 volts of direct current, 5 volts is plenty for this. So that's what we're going to use. As I said, on this Dean plug, two red wires onto this section, three black onto here. But if I just spread them apart, it should be a little bit better to see. I apologize if I'm not making this entirely clear, but I'm doing my best. So now we have this connected up, it's now time for the next piece. This thing here, which I call the electric junction. So what happens here, with this Dean plug, connects into there, into the bottom of here, 
So it's two red wires coming out and then two black coming out as well. So that pretty much means the power coming from here all the way through the circuit, lighting up the LED, going through the BEC to here, goes and then splits. And this is where your speed controllers will fit. So we do this. So that connects in there. And now the speed controller. So with this, a little bit of a difference here with the thickness on wire, but it's it's holding. So a little extension in the black, extension on the red, and that fits in that side there. And then same in here, the red into the red. Black to the black. And there we go. Now the motors are here. One minute. They are connected exactly the same with these Dean plugs, which is just a simple pulling out. Just in case a motor burns out, they're easily replaced. It's in like that. And then once all that's done and it's all connected, everything connected together, just I like to do this just as a simple test, just make sure that everything lights up and is working. So, power is going to both speed controllers and the LED, which means the entire circuit is working. So the next thing to do is to link up all the small servo cables to the receiver and then let it all run. Okay, so, receiver here, battery eliminator circuit, the servo into the battery link, in there. Now, oh, I'm going to have to add, with the servo wire, the red wire, because you have a red wire from the BAC going through the receiver, going to the receiver, excuse me, take out the red wire through the pin on there, so there's no pin on there, so you just have the black and the white, or the two outside wires, and then tape up the red wire just so it doesn't connect to anything and start at top, cause a fire, whatever. Just hold it on with a bit of tape, okay, and then this one not sure if I'll get it right first time, but I'll find out. So that goes into channel one, and then this one here, which is exactly the same. Red wire taken out because of the red wire here. Okay, so now. Power's there, receiver is on, transmitter, now, make sure everything works, okay, link's on, no problems, light coming on, there, it's on, there's enough power going to it, once the transmitter is on, the two speed controller lights will stop blinking, and then, So there we go, that's how I've linked up my drive system. And okay, it's a little bit messy in some parts, but it works, there's no smoke, everything's good, I haven't burnt anything out. Motors, I still need to sort of calibrate them a little bit, because one's running faster than the other, but I can sort that out. But uh, yeah, I, um, I hope you found this interesting, or at least learned something from it. I'd love to know if you 
when I was doing any of that. You can let me know in the comments below. Um, I will be carrying on with this, though I do have a few other things I'm going to try and do. But if you want to see what I've got coming next, including carrying on with this featherweight, I will put the link just there. So that's it for this one. Thanks very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.